From time to time, we find ourselves going down a narrow channel that has no exit. If you have an inboard motor in your sailboat, sometimes the boat doesn't turn very sharp. And this can be a problem. But we can use an effect called prop walk to be able to turn the boat in place. And that's what I want to demonstrate today. Prop walk happens because the prop is relatively close to the bottom of the boat. And in that area, the water gets compressed and shoots out to one side or the other, turning the bow of the boat one way or the other. In my case, when I'm in reverse, the aft of the boat tends to swing to the left or to port. The effect of prop walk is extreme when you're going very slow and particularly in reverse because there's very little water flow over the rudder, which is why we turn the wheel very hard in the opposite direction so that when we're going forward and that water flows over the prop, it's turning us even more in the direction we want to turn. The technique is fairly straightforward. You simply turn the wheel hard over in one direction and leave it there while you alternate between going forward and reverse. The boat will move relatively little forward and backwards, keeping you pretty much in place as you turn. Just a word of caution. Please practice this technique out in open water where you have plenty of space. First, you will need to determine which way your prop walk pushes the aft of the boat. You don't need to know if your prop is right-handed or left-handed. If you just give it a try, you'll figure it out very quickly. It is also important to be gentle on the transmission for your boat. You don't want to go from forward to reverse too quickly. It's best to pause in neutral so that the prop can slow down. The next tip I would like to give you is how to back your boat into your slip. Most boats sail very poorly backwards. You have to have enough speed to have water flowing over the prop to have control. But you don't want to be going too fast or things happen too quickly. The next problem is that if you're standing behind the wheel and looking over your shoulder, the wheel turns in the opposite direction that you want to turn. So what I do is I simply walk around the wheel and stand on the opposite side so I'm facing the direction of travel. This makes the wheel turn in exactly the same direction as you're going to go, which makes life much easier. Thank you for watching, and please check out CaptainLang.com for a complete list of all videos.